Hello, and welcome to the channel. Since there still seems to be some confusion about the installation process of GSX for Microsoft Flight Simulator, I thought I will make a video about it. This is a very basic video about how to install GSX, so if you have already installed it on your system, you might not want to watch this video. I will make more in-depth follow-ups about the deeper settings for GSX soon. So, if you find this type of content helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, consider to follow the channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any further content. But now, let's go on with the video. Installation GSX Pro for MSFS is installed through the FSDT Universal Installer, which is the standard install application that can be used to manage all your FSDT products. Through the Universal Installer, you can do all the following tasks. Install an add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator from scratch, uninstall or just unlink a product from the community folder. Keep all FSDT products updated. Activate a license or deactivate a license. Access to the self-help site to retrieve your product keys. Read the product documentation. This means there's no GSX installer, only the FSDT Universal Installer, and it can be downloaded freely from fsdreamteam.com at any time. This is the FSDT Universal Installer main screen, which shows several products installed and activated, and GSX Pro ready to be installed. GSX Trial Options and License To install GSX, you need to purchase a license first. However, there's no need to buy a license to use GSX on any FSDT airport. It's completely free to use with all its features, with no limitations. Buying GSX will allow you to use it on any airport, both default or third party. Because of this, and a license would be normally required to install GSX, the Install button will be available as long as you have at least one FSDT airport active, so you can install GSX without a license and use it on FSDT airports. Without a license, the program will work on three additional airports, KSFO, LIMC, and EDDM. To install GSX, just press the Install button. If you don't have a license, and you don't have any FSDT airport active, it will ask for your activation key, the code you found in your purchase receipt, which starts with an A. The key will be activated on your system, and the installer will then proceed to download the GSX installation files, which will be linked to your MSFS community folder. Important! GSX does not install anything in the community folder. All FSDT products, regardless if they are for FSX, P3D, or MSFS, will be installed in the FSDT Add-on Manager folder. While there is no Add-on Manager program for Microsoft Flight Simulator, GSX kept this folder structure to make updates easier because the FSDT Universal Installer will only operate on the Add-on Manager folder doing installs or updates, and nothing is copied in your Simulator Community folder other than a symbolic link. Through the Universal Installer, you can even momentarily disable an add-on from the Community folder, but keep it installed so you won't have to reinstall it again. Please do not move any FSDT product from its location. While you have complete freedom where to install FSDT, the location of the add-on manager can be chosen freely on the first install, they must stay together, because in many cases, they assume a specific folder structure between each other. And this is especially true with GSX, which shares lots of program logic with the FSX slash P3D version even if the graphic and the models are completely unique to MSFS. Also, please do not copy an FSDT package in the community folder manually. While this might appear to work, doing this will prevent the add-on from getting any updates because the update process only works on the add-on manager folder, not the community directly. All FSDT products for Microsoft Flight Simulator can be found in the Add-on Manager Dyson MSFS folder, and they must stay there, linked to the community, which is done automatically by the installer. Activation 
activation happens just before installing a product that has never been installed on the system before. If you have at least one FSDT product active, the following screenshot will appear, allowing to install GSX without a license so it can work on any FSDT airports. If you don't have any FSDT product installed, an activation key will be asked instead, so you must insert it in the text area below and click the Activate button. Activation requires a working internet connection. An alternate offline activation procedure is also available in case the activation server can't be reached for any reason. The installer will download the latest product files from the internet, ensuring you'll always get the very latest version when installing a product. At the end of the install process, the installer screen will look like this. In this example, the license reads NOT ACTIVE in red, and the ACTIVATE button is enabled because it was installed due to having at least another FSDT airport active, so the license is still waiting to be activated, but you can already use GSX at FSDT airports and three trial airports. If you installed it without having any FSDT airport active, the activation key would have been already activated before the installation, so the license would read ACTIVE in green, and the button would show DEACTIVATE instead, indicating your license is active, but can be deactivated when switching to another PC and reclaim the license. This concludes the first part of my in-depth series for GSX. In the next part, I will go over the jetway replacement in airports, disable GSX airport services, and passengers. Until then, happy flying. Bye-bye.